something before we came on air about some women fighting for fighting's sake. Mm. Um, and there are many men who feel that way, that there are women, every time they bring an issue, they're like, yeah, there she goes again. But really, isn't that a, a yeah, I, I tell my students in, in sociology of the family that yeah. you know what? If, you're, if your marriage is quiet for six straight months, <laughs> something is wrong. Something is wrong. Yeah, something yes. is wrong. You know, there has to be an issue at some point in time. The lady, most likely the lady, will come and tell you something like, you are seen. And you know, that's a very general statement, but stupid man, you start defending yourself. And say, oh, that was my cousin, that was my sister. But you don't even know who you were seen with. Mm. Yeah, so they do that just to test the waters. But there, there are guys who then will take that up and say, who, finally, I needed to talk to you about a day. Yeah, and, and the minute you raise that issue, his response will be what you've been bottling up, but in a nice way. Mm. The worst thing is when you become accusatory, like, like Chris says. The minute you tell someone you are like this, then you're not even defining the problem, you're defining the person. Yeah. And so they'll defend themselves and say, hey, my mother brought me up like this, what do you want? Mm. Yeah. Do women, uh, they fight more, even for no reason? Um, no, I don't think so. I think their style is different. It's more, it's more in your face because women bring up issues and they talk about them at an earlier stage. When men have an issue, whatever it is, they tend to think about it more. Mm. So you, you, you get people believing that women raise more issues. What they actually do is they open their mouths more often. They speak more. Mm. That's what they do. That's what they do. And by then they've already discussed it amongst themselves as well. That's the thing you guys do to us. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, you, you first you discuss it during the chama and all the those things. Yeah. And then, yeah, by the time you're coming home, other people have contributed to that problem. So that, and you're seeing it in very many oh, yes. aspects. Right. I, th I think well, <laughs> a lot of husbands would say that their biggest enemy is actually their wife's friends. <laughs> Yeah, that they're the ones who feel yes, all... Yes, they're yeah. all, especially if they're a little bit, you know, they're having difficulties in their own marriages, so oh the yeah. advice they give is all very biased. Yeah. Okay. In terms of resolving it, those sessions are you sitting down and talking, they're those who do it in public, or it just explodes in the restaurant, or, you know, some skillful, skillful couples know yeah. not to do that. Skillful couples know that, first of all, there are a lot of issues you shouldn't just raise at all. You know, is this mm. really worth having a dispute about? Is it just too small? They also know that they should give notice. They don't ambush. Mm -hmm. They also know that they should prepare their ground. They should actually have a clear, simple argument to give, not, not a row. This is the issue. This is wha how I see it. Now, how do you see it? Mm. If, the, if couples have those techniques, they get along very well. If they don't develop those mm. techniques, usually 